Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and today I'm going to show you how to model a hand in Blender. It's fairly simple. I'll be showing you certain modeling techniques that can help you in the future, and uh, just a pretty cool effect in case you don't know how to model a hand, and some new things that you might not know. Okay, so comment and rate this video if you can, subscribe to my page if you like my stuff, and add me as a friend if you need a friend. Okay, so let's get started. So, let's change the perspective a little bit. That's pretty good. Now press tab to go into edit mode and press S, Z, and sorry, scale it down. Okay, now we're going to add loop cuts. In case you don't know how to add a loop cut, you can just press Control R. It doesn't matter if any uh, vertices are selected or not. And then you click. Now, if you click, you can drag it by left click. You can drag it left to right or wherever you had it. Let's right click to cancel that. But if you press Control R and mid press the middle mouse button, it does it exactly in the middle. So that's what you want to do. Or just Control R, left click, and then don't move and left click. It's the same. So press Control R here and then middle mouse click. Control R here, middle mouse click. Now we have these four slots here. So press Space Select Mode. Now we have this, and I hope you can see where we're going. Now let's go to top view. Press A, R90. Now we have it going this way. So let's form the fingers. Now the this is going to be the index finger. It's going to be the second big, biggest. Now we're going to extrude. Now to extrude, press E, and then just move it up and down. So put it to about there for the first joint. For the second joint, it's right there. Let's see again, and the third one right there. Pretty good. Just this space here. And this one, it, just to know how big it's going to be, just make this one slightly bigger than this one since it's going to be the middle finger. There. This one's going to be slightly longer than the index finger, so just between that area right there. Let me zoom in for you so you can get a better look. And then the pinky, and this is going to be roughly around here. Okay. Now let's form the thumb. Now, if, if you've ever seen, well, of course you've seen a thumb since you have a hand. If you look at your own hand, you can see that a thumb isn't an individual finger, it's an attachment to the hand. So press E to extrude, right click to cancel that. Press S and scale it down. Now, with the scale down, you want to move this over back here. Actually, let's scale it up a little more. Yeah, that's pretty good. Put it right here. So that's top view. E to extrude. Put it up there. Scale this down. Rotate it um, up this way. E to extrude. Scale it down a little more. Rotate it again. Scale down. And then just E scaling down and scale down a little bit right there. Okay, now, if we go back, if we press tab again to go into object mode, this does not look anything like a thumb or, or a hand at all. But to fix that, all we have to do is add a modifier, subsurf, two levels, and as you can see there, it's already starting to look better. There, now you can see the resemblance. Now, one thing I'm noticing, or more than one thing is two things, Number one, this edge here is very sloppy, it's very sharp, and hands aren't that like that. Number two, this thumb is very small, so we have to size that up. And these fingers are way too thick vertically, so we're going to scale those down. So let's do that. Just have to go into edit mode. Top view. Now press B to box select and just drag over this like that. Now we'll have that. Press S, scale Z, press the Z axis. Uh, there, that looks pretty good. Scale down a little bit. Now, when face select mode means you uh, select faces and not edges or vertices. So let's go into edge select mode. And what I want to do is I want to smooth these four edge edges right here. So instead of clicking this one and then shift right clicking this one, we're just gonna um, select the loop. So press Alt and right click this right here, and it selects all four. Now press smooth, uh, about there, and then size it up, and there we go, it's starting to look good. 
Now, you can do this with a bunch of different stuff here. Now, not, not everything's a loop, so sometimes you have to shift right click. So just select all these out here, and smooth, smooth. Bring it out, scale it on the x axis, that's Z. Uh, okay, that's pretty good for that. Now, let's to top view, say select. Let's make sure you have nothing selected with A. And box select the fingers. There we go. Now just press S, Z. That's good. Maybe press set smooth once. Perfect. It's starting to look really well. Now, let's add the small details. Go ahead. Select this button here to select vertices. Actually, let's press set smooth so we can get a better look. Yeah. Now, on pinkies at the end, they're kind of, there's this bone here that you might notice. Just bring that out here. Then you have, there you have that. And this is actually starting to look pretty well. Yeah. This pinky, the pinky is the thinnest one of all, so they can't have all. They can't all have the same, um, you know, thickness. So press, uh, press, hold Alt and right click this, and then sh hold Shift and Alt, and then this, the same here. Now you have that. So let's scale this down. Alt right click that. Scale this down. Get this up. Perfect. That's looking great. So let's pick the, now we can start, you know, adjusting the, these things. Now, whenever I do this, just remember that I'm just holding Alt, right clicking, or Alt Shift, right clicking. Let's change this up a little. Okay. Pretty good. Now we're not going for all that much realism, just you know, just the basis of a hand. This would be cool for a cartoon hand though, you know. Now I'm gonna select these four right here. And one thing if you've been using Blender for a little bit, you'll notice that you can select faces that are beneath, like press like this one here. This is the face underneath it. That's all you have to do. Press this box and that problem doesn't happen anymore. Now when I hold down the right um, mouse button, the right, yeah. Then this happens, and I don't know if this is my computer or if I, if it's because I have a Vista, but I don't know if it's common or not. But it's not really that big of a problem for me. Now you want to select these edges here. Press E to extrude the region, and just extrude it. Scale it down, bring it back up, up a little bit. Extrude again. Scale it up. And then just extrude. Scale this one a lot. Scale this one up. SC over. Okay, now. Let's press. It's going to edge, edge select mode. Let's just select these. Now, see that problem? Just click that to fix it. Okay. So you want to select the outer edges here. The very back. Now I'm just forming the arm here. Smooth a couple times, pretty good. And let's bring, oops, sorry, my buddy. Let's bring this up a little. Pull this one. All right, now, yeah, this now you'll notice that it's kind of flat. You don't want that, so let's look, select this edge right here. Oops, actually, I'm upside down. I'm sorry. So yeah, this side is looking pretty flat. So this would be the palm. So let's just form that a little bit, scale it down, bring it up a little. Since palms are relatively flat, but they're uh, slightly rounded inside. So let's smooth out, smooth it, bring it down. Yeah. Now let's add the little bone indentions on top, and then we'll be done. And I will sh render it up a little bit, and there we have it. So now I'm going to adjust the camera, and then I'm going to render it, and I will show that right now. So thanks for watching this tutorial, and keep watching my tutorials, and comment, and rate, and peace.
continue rating and comment on my page if you like my stuff or, or if you uh, can't figure something out just message me thanks for watching